Pepper's is one of my favorite restaurants. We love the place. It's the best pizza in town, so I always ate there. Had that cool vibe. Someone just happened to say, oh, did you hear that Pepper's is closing? And I, I was devastated when I heard this news. We just loved seeing the paintings there at Pepper's. It was really what gave the restaurant so much character um, was to have these paintings on the walls. I thought it would be a real shame if they just disappeared or if they, if they were sold off bit by bit. I just thought, what a great idea to have them together somewhere. Hill Hall is the perfect place for these paintings because we are the Department of Music. These paintings feature North Carolina musicians. This is the University of North Carolina. As far as I'm concerned, these paintings have to be here. It's really exciting for me to see these paintings get a second life. I love it. We have 19 paintings on two different floors here in Hill Hall. The ones that I really love, I would say, would be the John Coltrane, the Thelonious Monk. Randy Travis, Ben King. George Clinton and Maceo Parker. The Watsons. The Nina Simone, Libba Cotton. Each painting is accompanied by an essay that explains the significance of the artist and gives a little bit of the history of each, each performer. It's so fun to walk in here and see all the paintings because it is a little bit like walking into Peppers and seeing them on the wall and just, you know, we, we love the place and, and it's so fun to just have a little bit of it here. It's just really great that they're still accessible to everyone. There's such a, a sort of neat piece of North Carolina music history, a sort of constant reminder of what the state has given to sort of the music world and so um, especially as a public institution in that state, I think it's great that they can find a home in the music department. I had to fix them up quite a bit. They, um, seven years of Peppers uh, did a kind of a number on them. I mean, there was beer and Coca-Cola and lots of grease and just restaurant goo. It, it's, it's incredible for me to see my artwork here. I did not know how important they were to people. For them to be moved into this thing and sort of put up on display for a lot of people to see with a little fanfare, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to put into words. The response has been overwhelming. I mean, people are so excited uh, that they're here. People just feel really connected to these paintings through Peppers, but then also because of what they represent as North Carolina's musical heritage. We think of it not just as a collection of paintings, but really an exhibition. I mean, we're here to teach about music, so we think of this as part of our educational mission.